Windows 2000. Most retro gamers have their own XP, Windows 98 and even MS-DOS PC retro gaming builds. But what about a Windows 2000 gaming PC? Hi, I'm Julian from Julian's Taxation. Today we're gonna build our own Windows 2000 gaming PC. Windows 2000 was actually launched in 2000, who guessed. At the same time, Windows ME has been launched. While Windows ME was more like an improved version of Windows 98 SE and on the MS-DOS architecture with our MS-DOS mode function, was Windows 2000 on the NT architecture and more for professional use. The NT architecture is still used today with Windows 10. For our build we are using Windows 2000 Professional Service Pack 4. And indeed I have got an original new copy of Windows 2000 Professional Service Pack 4. So the PC, let's take a look at the hardware. Here we have got an AMD XP3000 with a Radeon 9800 SE and a K7VT2 mainboard from ASRock. This may not be a high-end PC at the time, but it still was pretty beefy in comparison to the previous hardware from the late 90s. This PC is from around 2003 and 2004. Fun fact from this PC. This has cardboard inside, so this PC is really quiet. Let's install it. taken an hour to load from the HSD. The installation went pretty well and without any issues. After I installed Windows 2000, the drivers were to install. But I have the feeling that I did something wrong. Uh, more on that later. Now it's time to test some games. Well, let's start with GTA 3. In high settings, GTA 3 won like a potato on a treadmill. You can count the FPS with your naked eye. Then I tried scaling down the resolution, with resulting in this greenish bug. Actually this PC should run GTA 3 without any problems because GTA 3 isn't demanding at all, at least for today's standards. As you can see in 3D Mark 2000, the graphics card can indeed calculate some pixels with around 80 FPS. By the way, the 3D Mark 2000 score was 5325. Probably DirectX wasn't installed correctly. But anyway, that's a topic for the second part of the Asylum 2000 PC. Thanks for watching! Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel to stay tuned for the next episode. Oh wait, I forgot, there's one more thing. This is really important. I've got Instagram. I post there frequently retro tech and retro games. So if you don't wanna miss any content, follow me there. Retro proof.
at Julian's Textation.